Well, Michigan now has the toughest drinking water laws in the nation and is stirring up new criticism tonight. A number of local governments are now telling leaders in Lansing, see you in court. 7 Action News reporter Amira David tells us how the rules are putting a heavy financial burden on communities. Well, the state argues it's simply about creating safer drinking water, but the coalition is pushing back, saying it's customers who will really hurt in the end. If you want us to accelerate the pace, then we have to find a reasonable way to fund it. That's the underlying message of a new lawsuit from the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department, along with a coalition of local water authorities across Metro Detroit. The complaint pushes back on new rules put into place by the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality earlier this year. In June, Governor Snyder's office announced the rules would require all underground lead service lines to be replaced over a 20-year period, all of it meant to safeguard Michigan against another Flint-style water crisis. But the coalition has called it an unreal timeline. DWSD says they are already working to replace lines as is, but that picking up the pace would cost $800 million, $40 million each year. There's no city in America that's been able to replace almost 7,000 lines a year. This would be a monumental feat. State officials have said municipalities won't have to begin until 2021, leaving them plenty of time to prepare. But the real question for the coalition? How do we fund it? Um, so that we don't cause rate shock for our customers, uh, a lot of which are below the, the poverty line. Customers, DWSD says, could expect to see at the very minimum double-digit increases at between 10 and 30 percent. They argue it's not a fair burden for consumers given water quality in the Detroit area is at four parts per billion, far below the federal limit of 15 parts. We reached out to the MDEQ about the lawsuit. They say they're just reviewing the documents and don't yet have a formal response. And DWSD says they're hoping that with this new administration taking over, they'll have a chance at a new discussion towards finding a better solution. For now in Detroit, Amira David, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Amira.